U.S. sent destroyers in response to Russian warships near Cuba. The U.S. has sent Navy ships to spy on Russian military vessels heading to the port of Havana, U.S. officials told CBS News. According to them, the United States used three destroyers, two vessels, towing sonar equipment and one Coast Guard boat to track the movements of Russian warships. As established by OSINT analysts, the Intel Frog, we are talking about the destroyers Truxton and Donald Cook. They were also joined by the frigate Ville de Quebec of the Royal Canadian Navy, writes the Moscow Times. In addition, according to analysts, the movement of Russian vessels is monitored by a patrol anti-submarine aircraft Poseidon P-8 of the US Navy and a patrol aircraft SR-140 Aurora of the Royal Canadian Air Force. Earlier, the Cuban authorities announced that from June the 12th to the 17th, four ships of the Russian Navy will visit the port of Havana. The carrier of the Zircon hypersonic missiles, the Admiral Gorshkov frigate, the Kazan nuclear submarine, the academic Pashin oil tanker and the Nikolai Chika rescue tug. All of them belong to the Northern Fleet of Russia. According to CBS sources, Russia is transferring ships to the Caribbean to conduct military exercises, which will be held for the first time since 2019. The ships are to make a stop in Cuba and Venezuela, and after the exercises will remain in the region until the end of the summer to conduct another maneuver in the fall, CBS sources clarify. John Kirby, coordinator for strategic communications at the White House National Security Council, told CBS that the United States does not have data on the presence of nuclear weapons on Russian ships. It is also not expected to be used during the exercise. However, he noted that according to the US intelligence, there is a nuclear system on the submarine. Cuba is about 150 kilometers off the coast of American Florida. But Washington does not see Moscow's actions as a direct threat. The Pentagon said that Cuba accepted Russian ships regularly between 2013 and 2020. Given Russia's long history of entering at Cuban ports, they are considered routine naval visits, especially in the context of increased U.S. support for Ukraine and NATO exercises, said U.S. Department of Defense spokesman Major Charlie Dietz. An Israeli strike on the village of Juya in southern Lebanon late Tuesday killed a senior field commander of Hezbollah and three fighters for the Lebanese armed group, three security sources said. There was no immediate comment from the Israel Defense Forces on strike, which came amid a series of rocket barrages fired from Lebanon at northern communities throughout the day. There were no injuries reported in the rocket attacks, with air defenses intercepting some projectiles while others struck open areas. Hezbollah confirmed the death of the commander and said in a statement that he was Taleb Abdullah, also known as Abu Taleb. Abu Taleb was the most senior member of the group killed in eight months of fire between Israel and Hezbollah, a security source told Reuters. He was identified by the sources as the group's commander for the central region of the southern border strip. After this, Sources with Hezbollah said the Lebanese militants had initiated the largest attack on northern Israel since the war's onset, Israeli newspaper Haaretz reported. Lebanon's Hezbollah said on Wednesday it had fired dozens of rockets at Israeli military posts and a military factory in northern Israel in retaliation for the killing of a senior commander. The Israeli military said about 160 rockets were launched from Lebanon into northern Israel after an Israeli strike killed a senior Hezbollah commander in South Lebanon. Separately, Israel said it carried out a strike on a building used by Hezbollah, a rocket launching site, and other infrastructure in southern Lebanon's Adaram. A Hezbollah rocket launching cell was also targeted in a drone strike in Deir Oms, the military added.